there everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really glad you did. Guess what I've been doing? I've been getting ready for Halloween and I've created these fun handprint and footprint animals. I created a spider, a ghost and a cat. So how about I show you how I created them. But before I do, if you love art, then come over to montmart.net because we've got lots more art lessons there for your enjoyment. We've also got our Facebook and our Creative Connection attached to that. And if you join our Creative Connect, then we'll send you tons of really cool stuff. So let's have a bit of fun and create some handprint Halloween creatures. <laughs> So for this step, we'll need some white and some black paint. And I'll be using the Montmartre Kids poster paint. Now, if you haven't used this tempera style paint before, it's fantastic. It's quite opaque, but most importantly, it's also non-toxic and washable. It comes in two litre bottles also, but we'll be using the 500 ml bottles. And this has plenty and plenty of paint for more projects in the future. I'll also be using some Montmartre paper in the A3 format. For my ghost, I'll be using the black paper. And for the other projects, I'll be using the white paper. Oh, you'll also need a foot. Hopefully you've got one of these, or you won't be able to make a ghost. So squeeze out the white paint over the paper like this, and spread it out over the paper as evenly as you can. You can then press your foot into it, so the paint is evenly distributed over the sole of the foot. You can then transfer the paint onto the black paper like this. It's a good idea to have some paper towels ready to clean the rest of the paint off. Next. Squeeze out some black paint onto the paper. Use the tip of your finger to create a mouth and two eyes. Make the eyes a little bit smaller. And there's a ghost. Well, that was a bit of fun. Now let's create a scary black cat. So take your black paint and let's create this cat. Follow a similar method in regards to distributing the paint. Transfer the paint onto the page and fill any blank parts that haven't been covered with your finger. Pop on a head, a tail and some ears. I then squirt out some white and create some eyes, a nose, some claws and some whiskers. Well, because we're having so much fun, how about we make one more? But this time, let's make a spider. So I again create a nice even coat of paint and transfer a palm print. When you do this, lift your thumb so it doesn't make an impression. Create one going the other way. Fill in the missing spots, then create a heap of eyes with white spots. Well, I told you it was a ton of fun to do with your young ones and you really do get a lot of really great keepsakes out of it. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to join our Creative Connect if you haven't already. And until next time, keep on creating art. See you next time.